Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil. And I am Opposite Phil. Opposite Phil. That's right. Blue lab coat, yellow shirt, evil mustache. I see. Anyway, we're looking at opposing forces today. That's uh, forces that make things go down and forces that make things go up. Right, things with more density and things with less density. Uh, gravity and the opposite, which is anti-gravity. Anti-gravity isn't really a thing. You're... Well, I have to do the opposite. Right. Um, buoyancy. And buoyancy's opposite, which is girlancy. No, girlancy is not the opposite of buoyancy. You know, you're not helping. Right. Not helping. Opposite. <laughs> Hello. Uh, goodbye. Today we're going to be making a gravity-powered boat. Ta-da! It's pretty easy to make. You just put water in the top here. Gravity of the water pushes it out the straw and the boat goes forward. And it's super easy to make. You only need four things. A piece of styrofoam, a plastic cup, craft stick, and a straw. And the tools you'll need, a pen, a craft knife, and the help of an adult, and science glue. Which is the same as regular glue, except I only use this glue for science. You take your styrofoam and you cut it into a boat shape. That requires the knife and the help of the adult. Then take your cup and draw the circle that your cup will sit in. And then you want to put two slashes with your craft knife in there. Again, get the help of an adult if you need it. Uh, and then start carving out the styrofoam with your finger and make a nice little indent just like this for your cup to fit in. See, and then it fits in nice, nice and snug. So then what you want to do is you want to make a hole in the cup. You can use a pencil. The hole has to be just big enough for the straw to fit in. First, you want to take the straw and dig up in this direction so that it will be a nice angle for the water to come out. And then you want to get the straw back up into the cup like that and then glue it so that it is not going to leak any water. And then in the final step, and this is your choice, you don't have to do this, but you can use your craft stick and you can make a rudder. Or if you want, you can make a whole keel, which goes just like that and it is right in the middle of the boat, and this helps the boat go straight, because sometimes the straw goes off to the side one way or the other. Okay, water-powered boat. Actually, it's a water and gravity-powered boat. You see, what you do is you fill up the cup with water, and the gravity of the water in the cup pushes it out the straw, and the boat goes forward. And this is what it looks like in the water. You fill up the cup and the gravity pushes the water out that way. The buoyancy of the boat keeps it afloat and good old Newton's third law, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. The water going out the straw this way pushes the boat that way and it works pretty well. Whoa, if it's going straight, that's why we have the keel. Okay, so gravity powered boat, time to max it out. <laughs> 